Edmund, what is your topic? Oh, man. All right. Well, <laughs> given my recent video game enjoyment lately, uh, I was just going to offer up the question of what is a video game? Well, I guess it's a two part video game world you'd want to live in and then obviously the one you'd least want to live in. Um, a couple caveats could be simply, you know, you still get your respawns, save points, retries, um, and you get to keep the memory from your last attempt, but you're still stuck in whatever that game world is. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, if you really want to, yes, I guess you could go ahead and find a game shark or find some way to put some uh, codes in to make it a little bit more interesting here and there, but... If you want to offer different answers for different caveats of, hey, if um, cheat codes work, then I'll take this versus if they don't, I'll go with this one. Sure. I mean, however many options you want to offer. Got you. And I, I don't know the format. Do I answer first? You guys answer first. It's up to you. It's your topic. You want oh. us to go first You want, or you want to go first? I mean, I can give you all my two simple answers because they're very quick and easy. Um, I would absolutely enjoy living in Animal Crossing. Um that shit is I just so nice and peaceful and just <laughs> I get to stay on the island. Just, I get just to run happy, it. just um, happy all the time. It's, yes, the, the villagers come in and out. They go visit. I mean, yeah, there's that one ghost that comes by or that drunkard that lands on the island every morning, every couple mornings or something every other week. Um, but now nah, just being able to just chill on the beach and do whatever the fuck I want for a while. I got games. I got other things, even if they're I don't know in the world they're fake or I don't. We figure something out. There's mm. ways to entertain yourself or just nap all day, whatever. Eat the most nap. twisted thing on the island is the the twisted turnip market. Yeah, like, but I mean. Even that's predictable? Yeah, you game the system, you figure it out, you go to other islands and make yourselves. <laughs> You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Um, and then least likely, or at least want to live in, um, uh, just because I've been playing it. Oh, specifically also. My questions are based on your personal game library, not just mm -hmm. games you may have heard of, but right. personal game library. So since I don't have other horror games or anything, I am luckily don't have to worry about that. But the least likely would be Helldivers 2, because I don't want to live in a fascist society like, well, even though we're heading towards that, apparently. Um, I don't want to live in that kind of fascist society of giant bugs and automatons who are I possibly have to go to war with or they might be invading. Who knows? I don't think um, anybody wants to live in, in a world like that, Ed. I mean, yeah, yeah, I'm just saying. But out of my library, that's <laughs> all I got. Um, I, um, AJ, I don't know if you knew this because the song itself said it. We all live in a Pokemon world. You know? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think for me, the one that I would want to live in the most, and initially it just popped right there, and that was Minecraft. Okay. Because it's pretty straightforward and listening to kind of explain it a little bit, having the ability to add and subtract mods, I think Minecraft could be, like I just said, like tap me in, I'm ready to go to the Matrix. Like Minecraft essentially could be that world. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. even they, they do have mobs and creepers and stuff you've got to worry about. But in reality, you go in, you build your shit up, you live off the grid. Like let's be honest. I've, I've wanted to live off the grid since my mid twenties. Like <laughs> that would be the perfect situation for me. Um, a follow up was Pokemon. I agree with AJ. Living in like the Pokemon Yellow world would have been a lot of fun, especially as like a young adult or a teenager. Like that would have been cool, just to be able to free roam and just collect Pokemon and shit. Like eat ice cream, like whatever. Um, the worlds I, I Pokemon like I wouldn't even want to be a traveling you know Pokemon you know Pokemon trainer I'd want to I'd want a gym you know like I want people to come to me and challenge me you know and then stomp them like yeah and I get the fuck out of my gym you know <laughs> ooses, ooses. it's like I since I only really grew up enjoying Gen One um I haven't really consistently been playing enough but whatever that most recent one was where you are running around Scarlet and violet no the pokemon go no the the last one that came out on the switch oh, oh that was that was Scarlet and violet 
That was unless you're talking about unless you're talking about Arceus, the one that came Arceus, before that. that okay. Yes. Um because of how absolutely horrifying it is with some of those actual sized ones running at you as a mm-hmm. probably 13 year old child, kind of has me a little hesitant with living in that world, yeah. just in case. If I'm just out and about and they're just like, hey, the fuck you doing here? And they just yeah. start chasing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was that's the last one I actually played. And I was when I played that, I'm like, ah, this is this is not the Pokemon I want. I don't I don't remember this. <laughs> um, but just like you, I really haven't played since Gen One. Like I keep telling people all the time when they start naming all these new Pokemon, like I don't know these new niggas. Like it's I know the original 151. Yes. Those are my peoples, you know. Yep. Yes. When I did the episode with Matt and Vince where we drafted our Pokemon team, that was my mentality. And I had to have Matt go in and help me because I my team was nothing but Gen 1 Pokemon. And he was like, okay, these are newer versions that are stronger, but keep the same ideology of what your team represents. And I was like, I have no idea who the fuck that There's guy only is. one Zapdos, man. Like That's what mean, I'm saying. Like I don't yeah. care what you say. There is only one Zapdos. Bingo. Yes. But uh, the one I wouldn't want to live in is the evil within. Uh, the idea of just genuinely living in a horror movie that I have to constantly live in repeat on is wild to me. So that's definitely the first one that comes to mind is because essentially the whole time you're being you're trying to evade a leather face type killer saving your wife and child. So it's like, no, nah, that's that's not the life I want. No, <laughs> thank you. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. So on me, I suppose. So did a lot of uh introspective thinking, you know. And at first, you know, I asked you do you know cheat codes count mostly because I was playing GTA at the time. Like I, I I'd live here if I could have cheat codes. Then I thought about it some more. I'm like, no, nah, because I'm still getting shot on a regular basis. <laughs> like no, no, I don't. I definitely don't want to live in Liberty City, so we're gonna cut that out. <laughs> but I'm like, what other world where there's some danger involved, but it's worth it? And that's gonna be kind of a kind of a throwback a little bit, but it's still in my game library. It's still on my PlayStation. I haven't played it in a while, but it's DC Universe Online because you know. Yeah, there's dangers abound, but I'm also a fucking superhero slash supervillain. You know, I'm, you know, a a powerful being in this world. And the thing is, the most dangerous stuff, I don't have to fuck with it. You know, I can stay (laughs) over here in Gotham and I'll be just fine. I don't have to go out and fight Trigon and all that kind of shit. I can can mind my business and stay out of that shit. Um... (laughs) Damn, but that's crazy. Y'all, y'all got that going on over there? Damn. Yeah, okay. yeah, damn. That's, <laughs> that's on uh, you. That's a y'all problem, exactly. not a me problem. I'm going to stay over here. <laughs> I wish hey, somebody man. could help y'all. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to stay over here with my Good super luck. speed and being able to run up the buildings and shit over here where there's just little brainiac robots that I could just smash with three hits and I'm good. Like, <laughs> that's, damn, that shit's crazy. I'll take my two XP smacking this rabbit a thousand <laughs> times, please. <laughs> but, um, so that's one. But if I am allowed G code, then my head it popped out loud. Like, oh, the Sims, I, I don't want to live in the Sims if I can put in that mother load cheat and <laughs> just, you know, I'm oh, good. <laughs> Al just recently got the Sims like on steroids, fully loaded, all the mods. And when I say all the mods, dudes, like she was like, hey, come here and look at this. The Sims are fucking. And I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> and they are whole ass naked. Are- yeah. Oh, she's got all the fancy mods and shit. No, 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 no. Not, not, not in Sims. There's a game called Enzoi. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, I don't know what that is. Hold on. But yeah, no, last night she built a strip club. Uh, she was like, there That's was a fantastic. threesome, like took one of the strippers home. And I was like, what are, what game are you playing? This isn't the Sims. <laughs> this We're... isn't what EA had in mind. <laughs> You're oh. writing erotic fiction, like in a, in a fictional, like 3d world. Need one. Okay. This is showing this not the full gameplay stuff. There's a gameplay videos and stuff broken down in like seven, eight minutes long, mm-hmm. but, um, it looks, it's, it's, it looks like. It looks phenomenal for the Sims. Enzo? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's almost scary. 
Um, let's let me uh, pull this up here because if she hasn't seen this, she's gonna want to see this. Mm -hmm. if, if you're a Sims person, you you want to know about this. It's not a trailer I was planning on watching today. Wu-Tang. She definitely said Wu-Tang. <laughs> Nothing to fuck with. Mm -hmm. See, in Simlish, when you hear somebody say Wu-Tang, that's really them talking shit. It's like, you take your fucking neck, asshole. Mm -hmm. Like, this one, like, you, like, like, they go out driving, you control the driving and everything, like, you, you're, like, actually, like, immersed in it. So Sims GTA? Kind of. <laughs> I don't remember if in this trailer they actually show the character creation, but they don't. Because that's what you need to see is... Only the one who has earned the people's support is fit to be... Ah, oh, come on. Get through this ad, please. <laughs> While that's going on, the one I, you know, would least like to live in, though... Um, it became GTA. Because <laughs> I'm not trying to get shot for no reason all the time. Yeah. Have you ever imagined? But think about your medical bills. We all have. You get killed like right there on the spot, and it costs what, like 50 bucks, and you're back out 100%. <laughs> that's quality. That's that's a pretty solid plus. Variety of creative yeah. tools to help you build yours. But yeah, First, the detail in the, in, in the creation, you know, and all that kind of shit. You can create Crazy. realistic appearances with detailed controls over facial and body features. You can also customize hair and outfits to create a unique look. Why'd they choose to make her a ginger? Jenny Weasley looking ass. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's cool. Like, you can even design their clothes? Yeah. <clears throat> that's wild. Yeah. But anyway, you get the idea. Send me this trailer on Twitter. I'll send it over to Al, because I definitely yeah. think she would like that. Yeah. 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 Um, kind of to piggyback off of your same reasoning for why you wouldn't want GTA. That's the same reason I also did not select Cyberpunk because I do not want to get randomly killed by Bullet or some asshole who just wants to hack into my brain to make me kill myself. So yep. Fallout and Red Dead Redemption, same reason. I was like, I don't want to die. Like, oh, fuck. Doing like even with the response, that's that's yeah. one where you're like, I don't think that's worth it mm -hmm. like, at all. Mm. And I was first thinking GTA because it was just like all the money I can make, you know. But then just the constantly getting shot is just not fun to me, you know. I, I don't, I don't like dying. Yeah, damn. <laughs> but Red Dead Redemption Online, I spend just enough time every so often in a day just wandering around, not doing anything. So. That just existing out there yeah, yeah, yeah just yeah. i'm just gonna ride my horse exactly i just want to hop on my horse and you know ride ride across the countryside yeah. and you know head into the woods hopefully find some clan members to kill you know that kind yeah. of thing. so that that actually may not be too far down the list so i'd be okay with it it may not be on the ones but if i did get pulled into that world, if that's the lottery you pulled you wouldn't be mad about it yeah 